Hi, Janice. Here I am. <laughs> you got power? Yeah. Good. Not, not much heat, but I got power. Yeah. Our folks... Putting your gas out or? No, I live in an uninsulated house. Oh, so oh. The worst thing for me is a cold wind, which is what oh. we have. Somebody <laughs> told me it was blowing really hard in the west side and it really didn't blow much here in Live Oak. I was shocked. We lived down by the beach, but it wasn't blowing at all hardly. Yeah, where I am, the gusts have been really strong. I'm in Live Oak too, but I'm, I'm further away from the ocean, I think. Mm -hmm. And when the gust comes, it's very strong. Well, my furnace isn't working, so it's kind of chilly. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Yep, and there's no way we're having a repair person in the house, so. Oh. oh. Don't you have a wood stove though, uh, Keith? I do have a wood stove. We'll be using that. You have that wood? Too. We have lots of wood. <laughs> <laughs> trees are always more, falling down. Trees fall down, right? Yep, they're always falling down and I just got to cut them up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope have there aren't any food. near you. Yeah. You know, the they say about they say about making wood that it warms you twice, right? Once when you yeah. it. <laughs> well, it, it warms me three times because it's most of them are down quite a ways down the hill for me. So bringing them up is the second time. <laughs> well, the last tree in my yard went down um, last winter. Oh. So it'll have to something will have to work hard. I, I'm not wishing for it to hit me now. Keith, maybe you said this already. How you're up Rodeo Gulch Road? Yes. How how far up are you? Two and a quarter miles. Okay. Oh. I don't know if you know where hey. Hidden Valley is. We're past Hidden Valley. Oh. Yeah, but his driveway, you need a four-wheel drive to get up. That was <laughs> quite an adventure finding your house. It's not that bad. <laughs> Although it does tend to wear a clutch out of the car. I bet it does. Car. Oh. You don't have a four wheel drive, Keith? Oh, no. We drive efficient little Ocano boxes, electric car, hybrid, you know. Well, you need a small car like mine or yours to get up and down the driveway. It's like a <laughs> skateboard track. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty amazing when I went up there to drop off some stuff. I just said, wow. <laughs> this is like an adventure in itself, just getting here. And I live at the bottom of the road in the low rent district. So <laughs> the people on the top have the multi million dollar views. Yeah. Uh, more wind, though. Yeah, but they get sunrise <laughs> and sunset. We never <laughs> see sunrise and sunset. I mean, the sun's already down 15 minutes ago here. Oh, wow. You really are low. Wow, that is early. And that also means there are no signals here. We get some radio, but we never have gotten any television or anything. Here. Oh, wow. It was, kind of, it was kind of a cool way to raise our kids with no media. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. We had to hide ours during the week. <laughs> it was in the, we had a little one and we put it in the trunk of the Volkswagen because they took it to work. <laughs> <laughs> Now, these days, I mean, you know, the kids have to do their schoolwork. You know, my, my girlfriend's got school age kids. And so they're, they've got net, you know, they've got um, Chromebooks to do their schoolwork on and they have iPads and they're, they're um, Waldorf kids. So they're supposed to be not doing any devices. You know, if, you know, if anybody had a hard time transitioning to online, it's going to be the Waldorf school where it's all wood and touchy feely. Right. So they managed to do it somehow. I sometimes unplug Wi-Fi to see how long it takes for for the for they before they start to get angry. <laughs> Usually, it's about three minutes. That's kind of the you you know. <laughs> Is something wrong with it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Larry, you need a hobby. <laughs> what? Oh, that no, that's my hobby. <laughs> I, I, they're teenagers. They it's it's that, that's all I got. <laughs> Maybe you could just throttle it periodically. 
Yeah, but that, that affects me too, let's face it. <laughs> well, so does disconnecting it. Yeah, but, but it'll be in time when I'm, I'm not using it, uh, you know, so. I'm going to go have a shower. I think I'll unplug the, uh, the router. That's right. But it is, it's amazing how quick they, they bolt out of their rooms. <laughs> <laughs> and, All right, you guys. And, and I don't I'm do it when they're in school. It's, it's, I'm going to call this meeting to order. Um, looks like we're. <laughs> oh, sorry. Looks like we're waiting for Elizabeth. I'm not sure. I haven't heard from her. Um, we may or may not get her. Um, just for the new folks, David and Christina, welcome. Um, my name is Guy Lanier, and I'm the the chair. And this is my first meeting um, officiating at, I guess, or I guess I officiated at part of the last one. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'll call this meeting of the Board of Directors of Community Television to order. Um, it is January 25th, 5.02. And would the secretary call the roll? Yes. Chair Lanier. Present. Uh, I'm sorry, Director Maziars. Present. Director Hall. Present. Director Mannheim. Present. Director O'Driscoll. Present. Director Shaw. No. Director Gudger. Here. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, oral communications, any person may address the board during its oral communications period. All oral communications must be directed to an item not listed on today's consent agenda or regular agenda. Do we have any members of the public who want to make, here there's, um, I see Hi, Elizabeth. Director Shaw has arrived. Hello, welcome. Um, any members of the public wish to participate or say anything? Seeing none, I'll move on. Consideration of late additions to the agenda, additions and deletions to consent and regular agendas. Seeing none, we shall move on. Uh, next is the consent agenda. Uh, number four, approve the board meetings of November 23, 2020. And approve recommendation of finance committee to accept November and December 2020 financial reports, which just happened moments ago, thanks to the finance committee. Um, do I have a motion for the to approve the consent agenda? I'll move. I'll second. Moved by Director Gudger, second by Director Hall. Um, all in favor, I think we can do a voice vote. All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, aye. 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 Anybody aye. opposed? All right, now this is a good part. Um, regular agenda, we have number six, the election of new board members. And joining us is Christina, is it Granados? Granados? She's still Sorry, muted. I tried to unmute myself there. Hi. Yes, Christina Granados. You had it Granados, right. Granados, thank you. Um, Watsonville representative, uh, term expiring at the end of this year. Thanks so much for joining us. And then um, David Warren as, uh, is nominated as an at-large representative, and his term is expiring, would ex will expire at the end of 2023. And I want to thank both of you for joining us. We're really excited to have you as part of the board. The bios were included as part of the, um, uh, the agenda and we're just stoked that you're with us. Any, would either of you like to say anything? You don't have to. <laughs> I'm very excited to be on board. So thank you so much for that warm welcome and I'm looking forward to learning from all of you and contributing. Great, thank you. And I'd like to thank you, Christina, for joining our board. It's been a while since we've had a Watsonville rep, and we really, really appreciate your joining. Thank you so much. I'd like to echo that. It's uh, both both of the new members. I read through the bios, and um, it's really exciting to have you guys coming on board. Well, I just want to say I'm excited too, and I'm I'm honored to uh, be a part of this group and work on the mission of Community TV. Great. Well, thank you both. That's great. Um, I will entertain a. Um, do I do this together or do we do them separately? Any parliamentarians here? I'm inclined to do them together. Okay. Um, I will entertain a motion to accept 
the or to elect the new board members uh, what from Watsonville, Christina Ganados and at large David Warren. I move. All right, Janet Sodriscoll moves and it looks like Keith Gudger second. All right, let's move. Couple of seconds. And all those in favor say aye. 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 Can I ask a quick question? We were doing the roll call votes because of uh, meeting online. I think, do we need to still do that? Pretty sure that's a, a Brown Act requirement. I, I, I think so. We just so for, we, we've continued to do those even for kind of the rote things um, okay. with consent. Um, I think it's probably a good idea. Well, in the interest of uh, crossing our I's and dotting our T's, let's do that. <laughs> Chair Lanier? Yes. Uh, Director Maziars? Aye. Director Hall? Aye. Director Loren? Aye. Director O'Driscoll? Aye. Director Shaw? Aye. Director Gudger? Yes. <laughs> How about Director Mannheim? Can I vote? Oh. No. I'm sorry. I thought I, I skipped to Director <laughs> Mannheim. Sorry, Director Mannheim. <laughs> Affirmative. Okay. All right. All right, well, welcome both. Yay. Yay. And, and I have two little comments. Uh, David, I knew from Cabrillo because I taught there at night for a couple of decades. I thought I recognized you and I read this. Oh, there it is. And Christina, I uh, just want to let you know I graduated from UCLA in 1967. So you have a heritage uh, graduate on the board with you. Go Bruins. That's great. Thank well, you for coming on. If we're going down memory lane, uh, David, um, I just have to tell you, do you know Al Holbert or did you, did you did you work with him at Cabrillo when he was doing computers? Yes, I did, yes. I, I, worked, I worked closely with him. Way back in the day, I was a reporter at KSPW and I, I got an opportunity to do a two-part story on this new thing called computers. <laughs> after, after which I promptly went out and um, convinced the station to allow us to put a computer in our bureau and went out and bought a Commodore 64. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's older than when I graduated from UCLA. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome both. And you're now uh, can participate in, in uh, anything else we do for <laughs> the rest of the, the time. Now uh, we'll move on to the oral report of our executive director, Becca. Okay, thank you guys. Um, this is my report for November and December since uh, we don't meet in, in uh, December. I'll cover both those meetings here. Uh, first, uh, we have applied for the, in, under financials, we've applied for the California Relief Grant. Um, and we are eligible to get about $15,000. We got notified today that we're on their wait list. So we'll be in round two instead of round one, I believe. <laughs> and um, we are still, our status is still funding at the, for the EIDL loan. And I did get a letter, I think I told you last time from the government saying we're in the pipeline. It's just taken a long time. You might explain to the new members what the EIDL loan is. That's the federal government's loan for um, for COVID uh, relief, and it is a this this in our case it's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan. It's a very a very low interest and long payback loan. It's sort of like a mortgage, and we are we may or may not want to use it, but it is such a low interest. It's worth having it as a backup in case we do need it. And we can use it for whatever we need. It's not restricted. Um, uh, we didn't qualify. We don't qualify for the second round of PPP funding, sadly, but uh, for a good reason. We didn't lose enough money to qualify. <laughs> so um, we're, that's kind of that's the good news part of that. Um, we expect our original loan will be forgiven, and we've been waiting for guidance from the government because they've come up with some new streamlined way of reporting. If you got less than fifty thousand dollars, and we did, but it we used it all for payroll, it's one form. So we're just gonna upload it and go ahead without uh, waiting for the streamlined version because it is pre pretty streamlined in our case anyway. Um, 
Uh, let's see. And then moving down to co-working, our break-even number in the co-working center is $10,000 a month in November. I'm, qual I'm qualifying this. It appears we earned $15,000 and in December we earned 10,000. But in November, it was an abnormally high uh, number because in, uh, someone was paying for October in November and someone paid for December in, no in November. So it evens out in the end, but it looked very exciting at first. Um, on paid services, uh, we uh, as uh, for for new board members, we one of the services that we provide the county, and uh, it is a revenue stream, is that we cover government meetings, and we did sixteen in November and in eleven in December, and. Um, cover is a TV technical word, so I will <laughs> rephrase that. We record them and then we telecast them on television. And we also do um, webinars now because so many of the commissions and agencies in our area can't meet in person. We developed a webinar platform where they come and meet and we host their webinars. And so um, we've, been doing, we've been doing that. We did the, uh, like, I think, I think we did, oh, I, oh, somehow it, um, we did six uh, webinars in November and six in December. And from now on, um, we're gonna, we've gotten some new business um, recently. So we'll be hosting webinars for the Santa Cruz County Board of Supervisors. We started doing that in January. We'll be hosting uh, health services, um, there are press conferences. We've already done one and we'll continue to do those. They do a couple a month. And uh, we're also going to be hosting webinars for Public Works and the Planning Department. And we just um, got a request today to do some town hall meetings for the county. So we're going to do a, a lot of webinars and we do those webinars live. We actually, we also stream them to Facebook and YouTube and them and also on our channels. And we've got so many now, we've had to get another account so we can do them all at the same time. Uh, many of them happen uh, at the same uh, time slot. So uh, we, under facilities and equipment, not a lot happened, but we did buy a new computer for our accountant. Um, under mission programming, we did, we completed our intern program in December and we produced three, the interns produced three programs and they're supposed to air, I think I have written here that they're supposed to air in January. I believe now it's February though. So we'll have um, three episodes of a show called Joining Me Now. And we interviewed um, three um, interesting people from our community. J Jody Frediani, who's a wild, wildlife photographer. Rachel Kippen, who's an environmental activist. She also is the um, ED for Sea Odyssey. And Curtis Relaford, who's a humanitarian and you may see him around town in a big truck uh, raising funds. Oh, Curtis. <laughs> if you don't see him, you'll hear him. Yeah, yeah. he goes by my house late at night. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he was driving through our neighborhood re recently too. Yeah, it's always fun music. <laughs> and, um, and so he raises a lot of money in town and a lot of people see him. And we thought, um, the intern that wanted to do his story thought that, you know, we see him, but we don't know a lot about him. So uh, she tracked him down, she actually, had to find him by just looking around in real physical space. She was unable to get him through um, a phone or a website. She just kept walking around until she found him. So she's gonna be a good reporter. She's intrepid. We're very proud of her. She got a good grade. So um, on social media for uh, the coronavirus, we still have sh been sharing the press releases with the public and, uh, and, and with, with uh, We've been sharing the press releases from Public Health and the governor on our, our social media channels. And now we're recording their health conference. So, so we're putting those on uh, obviously our channels, but also we put links in social media and also on our website. And um, in co-working, we've implemented a new social media strategy that Ian is working on. He's putting, um, we're, we've created some uh, a, a more of a branded look 
and he is posting informative content on a schedule to engage our audience there and hopefully to um, it's directed at entrepreneurs and solopreneurs and that sort of thing so um, up until now it had just been sort of random stuff about co-working which wasn't very effective so we've got um, this more targeted plan and we'll let you know how it works out or how it's how it's moving forward next month we're also doing the same thing for the studio we actually have a separate website for the studio that it, to directed more to professionals and um and not not uh, not members like of our community uh, television station that want to make things for the community but but professionals in the community that want to make things for others and so we are developing the same strategy for social media for them uh, coming up with interesting content about what's going on in production or in equipment or just that sort of thing that will be intriguing for them and different trainings and and um we're we found a lot of interesting information so we're sharing it there and uh, we'll let you know how that strategy works um on, in outreach we are working we got an opportunity the youth um, grant committee has been working on uh, putting together a, a sort of a pandemic version of our youth grant. I think we reported that out to you last time we met. And now we've kind of refined it into enough of a, um, we've gotten far enough so that now we feel like we need a beta test in order to um, really see if we're on the right track and how it would work in real life. So we've got a simplified version. We, we spoke with Save Our Shores and they were very interested in helping us connect with uh, kids that we could uh, try our new plan out on. They had some um, comments on what we had planned. So already we got some feedback on our ideas and uh, they were able to, um, they actually I uh, got, after I wrote this report, I got a message from them that they have connected with a teacher in middle school who would like to work with us. So I have a meeting right. planned with them um, later this week. And uh, it looks like we might be able to um, move forward with a beta test on some unsuspecting middle schoolers. <laughs> and so we're, we're excited about that. And uh, that's my report for November and December. All right, thanks Becca very much. Mm -hmm. um, next we have oral report of the board chair, that's me. Um, I really have nothing much to report in particular. This is the first meeting that I've um, actually led and it was a bit of a learning experience putting together the agenda, but I think it all worked out pretty well. I think um, I would like to, I meant to include our calendar, a list of all the meetings that are coming up. And so I'll do that next time just as an informational item. I forgot that. Um, and that's, that's about it for me. Next, uh, we have any uh, board member or staff requests for specific items to be on next month's agenda. Tom? Um, well, it's, uh, going back to the last one, did you want to mention the um, uh, meeting we're going to be having on Thursday or Friday oh, morning? Um, yes, I will. Thank you. Um, we are calling a meeting for Friday morning at 10 o'clock um, of anybody who, who can join, it'll be very brief. The um, community television tax return, the 990 is due and it should be uh, reviewed by uh, board members uh, before going, before it being signed and sent off. So I think Becca will send that out. Is that, am I right? You would send that? I'll send it to Keith and it'll go out in the packet for that okay. one. Um, and so that's actually, we're going to call that an executive committee meeting. Um, not everybody's got to be there, but we need to have at least three. It'll be very brief, I think, probably f no more than five minutes. This would be Friday at 10 a.m. Um, by Zoom. And just to, to um, a little more on that, the, the finance committee members have all agreed to be there. So nobody else has to be there, but you're all certainly welcome to join us. We'll be acting as the executive committee when we meet. Um, okay, anybody else have any um, particular requests for next meeting agenda? Um, I, I will note that this is um, so far been a fairly swift meeting don't get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually very grateful, um, uh, Chair Lanier, that uh, since I have to take off for the airport in about nine minutes, but um, I actually, I, I, we didn't get a chance to comment on or question the, our executive director's report. I just wanted to 
acknowledge um, Becca's work and the staff at Community TV, um, whom I think we now outnumber three to one, uh, <laughs> um, the bo board and the staff. But uh, yeah, the, the, the um, transition to, you know, as the county rep, the transition to Zoom meetings from uh, what we had before went remarkably smoothly. It's, it's a lot, um, a lot um, simpler now. And yeah, I was delighted. I mean, tomorrow we'll see, hopefully everything will continue to go smoothly, knock on wood. Um, and also I caught the last part of the, the first health um, department, uh, you know, COVID briefing. And I thought that went remarkably well too. So um, you know, definitely big kudos for me personally. And I, I believe I can speak for the entire county staff um, to Becca and the team for um, helping us um, move those to a strictly virtual format. Thank you. Well done. And I'd also like to say I caught the very first beginning of that broadcast. And at the very beginning, you see Ian at CTV on the very bottom of the Zoom. Oh. Like, Hi, Ian. <laughs> 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 I got to see the whole thing and it was um, beautifully done. They had a lot to handle and it went very well. Thank sure. you to everyone. Oh, excellent. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. I'll share that with the team. Okay, um, any other announcements? Thank you for that, Director Maziars, and safe travels to you. Or you're picking somebody up, <laughs> safe travels. Thank you very there. much. No, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up somebody, yes. Um, and now I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Matilda's not here, I don't know who's gonna do it. I will move to adjourn. <laughs> Director Maziars uh, moves to return, and Director Shaw second. I think this can be acclamation. Yeah. Yes. All those in favor say yes or wave. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye everybody. Thank, Thank you, you folks all. for coming. Thank you. Bye -bye. Welcome Thank aboard. You. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Yeah, welcome, welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. Bye. Bye.